Okay, today my topic is praising God from whom all blessings flow. The scripture that we're going to read is in Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. It says, let's read together. One, two, three. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 28 2. Let's pray. Father Lord, we draw near to you. You are the ultimate true blesser. All things come from you. All things belong to you. Everything that we have, that we are, comes from you, Lord. And so we give you praise. You are worthy of all glory and praise. Today we pray as we draw near, we celebrate Chinese New Year. Let us remember you are the great blesser because you love us. So this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. What is the most important word of the Chinese people during Chinese New Year? What are you? <laughs> 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 Fool! You know, um, uh, Sister Yiling, so I asked this person, I expect the person to say fool, and the person really say what ah, then throw me a curveball, you know. And what means wealth, fortune, and of course, everyone wants fortune. But the most important is still blessing. Why? Why not health? Uh, why not wealth? Why not fortune and why not money? It's because money can get you the five C's. Your cash, your car, your credit card, your condo and your country club. But it cannot give you the three H. Your health, harmony and happiness. Some people say, sure, they can get me the three H. Yes, money can buy you a car, buy you what you want. Happy or not happy? Those of you who got a new car. And those of you who are married ladies, uh, if your husband buy you a car, happy or not happy? Happy. happy la. My wife very happy if I get her a car. And you children, if your daddy buy you your dream phone, a tablet, a laptop, your favorite game and toys you've been asking for a long time. Happy or not happy? Happy. Got harmony or not? Of course got harmony. But how long will they last? How long will the happiness last? A while, la, but not too long. La. How about health? Can money buy us health? Sure, it can improve our condition with the best doctor, the surgeons, the medication, the supplements, the healthy organic food. But we all know money cannot really nurse us to pink health. If money is all we need, then the rich people will be the happiest, the most harmonious, and healthiest people. But we know that it is not the case. What we need is blessing. And blessings embodies every good thing that we can have to live a good life. That's why a lot of people go to the temples to pray for blessings. And that is why we say so many words of blessing during Chinese New Year. But when we bless our relatives and friends and we wish you a happy New Year, good health, good fortune, do we really have the power to bless them? Do you really have the power to bless them? And will they really be blessed because of what I say? And most of us will know without a doubt, we don't really have any power to bless. Our Chinese New Year blessings are just at, at best our well wishes. I, I'm not saying that we should stop saying the blessings. We should continue to say because they are nice, they are appropriate for the people to hear. Coming from our hearts, we love and they will see the blessings, that they will see the blessings and goodness in their hearts. But in reality, I will have no power to bless you. Surely I can bless you with some ang pao. But that is how far my blessing can go. I have no power to make happen the words of the blessings. Blessing is so important, not just for the Chinese people. 
but to everyone, isn't it? Where can we get the blessings? You know what? And we who are the Chinese have within us the secret of where blessing is found. And most of us, most of you should know, and the secret is in the very Chinese word for blessing, Fu. These characters are very different from any other languages because Chinese char characters are pictographic and many tell a story. The Chinese word for blessing itself tells a story of where blessing comes from. It is made of three parts. You see my, my mouse? Can I see my mouse? Okay. Wow, a bit difficult. I use a pointer. Pointer. Okay. See my pointer? Okay, good. So, God over here, this represents God on the left side. Yi Ko is one mouth or one person. And then Tian is the garden. This is the picture of the event when God created the first man, Adam, and placed him in a garden. The blessing of God starts right from the beginning of creation, right from the beginning of the Bible. God is the God of, a of a blessings. Is this just a coincidence? Let me give you a few more examples. What is the word for create? Zhao. And how do most people create things? They create things with their hands, right? <laughs> no? But how does God create things? God spoke into existence, right? And what's the Chinese word for Zhao? It's made of two parts. On the, left, on the right here is speak, and the left side is walk. So when God spoke, we have the birds, the fishes, the animals, and they begin to walk and move. How about the word for forbid, the forbidden fruit? The Chinese word for forbid is jing. It's made of two parts, two trees, and shi. Shi is instruction. So God made the two trees at the center of the garden, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God forbid Adam and Eve from eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge and evil, of good and evil. So God instructed them not to eat from the tree. So can you see the word forbid comes from, the Chinese word forbid comes from the Bible, right from the beginning. What about the word devil? Devil, Mu is made of three parts. Ling, again, we come back to the two trees. Then Gui, which is the evil spirit. And it appeared, the evil spirit, which is the, the, the devil, appeared at the two trees. And there is a cover. This is Satan coming in cover, cover under the trees, and coming under cover of the snake as well. Then the story continued that Eve ate the fruit that God forbid them to eat. And which of the Ten Commandments did Eve break? Did Eve break? Any idea? Which of the Ten Commandments did Eve break? It is a Tenth Commandment. Do not covet. And what is the Chinese word for covet? It's called lan. Sometimes we use the word tan lan. And you see here again, we have two trees. And now we have the woman. Can you see? Tan lan, green, covered. Happens right in creation. When the woman coveted, she wanted to eat the fruit. And now let me give you one more. What is the Chinese word for ship? S-H-I-P, ship. Chuan. Chuan is made of three parts. The left side is zhou, which stands for boat, small boat. And the Chinese people, when they want to create a, a word for a huge ship, they use the word zhou, but they added two more, uh, two more things. Ba, the traditional word is, uses the character ba and ji, similar, similar, right? Ba ko means eight mouth or eight persons. What picture is this? The Noah's Ark. During the worldwide flood, and that's when God instructed Noah to 
build the ark. And after that, Noah's family of eight went inside the ark, right? How amazing it is that we Chinese, our Chinese characters embody in us the story of creation, story of the Bible right from the beginning. This is evidence that early Chinese knew the scriptures and they believe in the God of the Bible. The things happen in the book of Genesis are not merely stories, but they are history, real history, his story. Amen? And there are actually many more which tells the whole sin problem and even the solution to sin. How many of you are interested to know more? But today, Chinese New Year, no time. So next time, we will cover that, all right? We'll come back to the topic of Chinese New Year blessings. It's very exciting, actually. So we saw that the Chinese word for blessing that includes God, man, at the garden, at work. So the garden during Adam's time represents both the home and the work. And so where can we get blessing? Blessing is when God is present with us in our home, in our work. The important question to us is, is God present with me in my home and at my work? Do I welcome God into my life? Will God be with me just because I'm a Christian? But it is not about whether I'm Christian or not. It's not about title. My wife will not be with me just because we are married. My wife will be with me if we have an active, loving relationship. She cares about me and I care about her. And similarly, God will be with us only when we walk in an active, loving relationship with God. Then He will be with us in our home, at our work, and bless us. God is a true blesser and only God. With God, there is true blessing. And today we'll cover the three questions. Where is God when we bless others during Chinese New Year? How are God's blessings better than others? And lastly, how do we receive God's blessings? First, where is God when we bless others? So during Chinese New Year, most Chinese are familiar with the Chinese phrases to bless family members, relatives and friends. But is God in the picture or not? When we go out wishing people all the Chinese phrases, have we in mind that God is behind the blessings? Does God also bless us during Chinese New Year? And so let's take a look at, mo at most of the common Chinese New Year blessings that we say, and just now we actually gone through the game. First is Sing Nian Kuai Le, Happy New Year. To wish someone with joy and happiness for the New Year, this is the simplest form everybody can say. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 5.19, that God who, He says, Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil. This is a gift from God. Remember, we talk about money cannot buy us happiness. It actually involves the ability for us to enjoy the good things. You can have the best chicken rice. You can have the best chakwe tiao. You can have the best McDonald's fries. Or you can have my favorite Mao Shan Wang. But if you lost your taste bud, you are very sick. You don't have the ability to enjoy all these things. Ecclesiastes tells us that God is a giver. He gives us the ability to enjoy, be happy. This is a gift from God. And the next is related to wishing someone with wealth and prosperity. This is the favorite of most. No one will reject wealth. Does God bless us with wealth? Yes, but how much wealth? Just enough? Good enough? More than enough? Deuteronomy 28, 11 says, The Lord will bless, will grant abundant prosperity. It is not unspiritual to be rich. Then, when is it unspiritual? It is unspiritual if we use it only for ourselves. We're not giving it to God's purpose. 
It is unspiritual if we live in excessive luxury, in greed, in selfishness, and being stingy when money becomes our God. But we do not need to be rich for money to be our God. Money becomes our God when we compromise honoring God on Sabbath. And so it's a great thing that you are here today. As you enter into the presence of God, God is the blesser. We are with the blesser. When you have the blesser, you have the blessings. And of course, there are people who cannot make it to the Sabbath or Sunday every week because of their work condition, probably in the hospital line, in the army line. Wealth and riches are good when we use them for God's purpose. When we do so, we are good stewards of God. God calls us good and faithful servants. And God grants us abundant prosperity. And the third is most common, good health. Health is wealth. Like joy, money cannot buy health. One cannot really enjoy a good life without health. In Exodus 23, 25, the Lord said, I will take away sickness from among you. This is the promise that God gave to the Israelites after he gave the Ten Commandments. The conditions of health and healing is when we worship and serve him. Do you worship God? Do you serve God? Some of you will tell me, I am here, right? I am worshiping God, right? I am serving God, right? Isn't it? But we need to check our hearts too. Is it half-hearted worship? Is it half-hearted serving? Is my heart on my phone? Or am I worshipping God with all my heart? With all my soul? With all my strength? Tell the person next to you, don't worship the phone. Don't worship the phone. Worship Jesus. And God will take away our sickness and give us good health. The fourth is, This is a very nice phrase. To wish that you'll be well when you go out and when you come back. You will be safe, protected from harm and have peace. This is the exact blessing in Deuteronomy 28, 6, which says you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. This may not sound very significant, but if we see the opposite phrase, the opposite verse, which is in verse 19, which says, you will be cursed when you come in and cursed when you go out. Suddenly we feel a bit unsettled. And it sounds more scary. It's more significant now, more important. Lately, I begin to realize how many times I, have, I could have died when I was driving on the road. Times when I was sleepy, while I was driving, or I was careless. I believe that God's hand is upon me to protect me from accidents and hell and death. So don't take God's protection for granted. God will bless us when we come in and bless us when we go out. Next is success in studies, career, and bless in business. 学业进步, 升官发财, 生意兴隆. This is the blessing. And Deuteronomy 28, 13 says, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And this is very important for students, isn't it? Because you want to do well. You want to improve in your studies. You want to go to the choice of the school and your profession. And those who are working, that you have good yearly performance for good pay increment, for bonus and promotion. And those of you who are running business, that you have more customers, have more sales, and more profit margins. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Can I hear amen? Amen. amen. And six is 心想事成, This is a blessing of our desires and all our plans. Really blessing all our desires. Sounds quite unspiritual, right? 
Sounds very like very self-centered. Blessing all our plans. Sounds so greedy. Excessive. Does God have such blessing or not? To bless what we desire and all our plans. Answer is yes. Psalm 20, 20 verse 4 says, May He give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. How many of you will say amen? Amen. amen. Receive in our hearts. Why are we going through all this? You know, because most of us, when we bless others during Chinese New Year, many times we say, but for the sake of saying. We don't really believe it in our hearts. We don't really actually exercise faith. At best, we say it because it is appropriate and nice to say. And we do not realize that these blessings, we actually need God the blesser. And so when we bless others, saying all these Chinese blessings, and back in our minds, we need to acknowledge that it is God who give and who can give these blessings. And I'd like us to do an exercise to bless one another now. Okay, can we all, can you stand up? Stand up. Uh, stand up, stand up. I invite you all to stand up, warm up a bit. Then I'd like you to find a buddy form in twos, threes, fours. And if you look around, those people who do not have buddy, can you invite them into your small little group? Okay. Uh, twos, threes, four, five, six is okay. Just, just form in a small group. Everybody participate. Everybody will do a blessing together. Right? And bless the people beside you. Okay, form out the group. Make sure nobody gets left behind, okay? Nobody gets left behind. Anyone miss, um, missed out? Please invite them. Hey, lie, 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 lie. Come, come. Okay, hold each other's hands, hold each other's hands, one hand also can. And then I'd like you to look at each other. And I'd like you to give them the happiest smile. As if they just give you an ang pao of a million dollars. And I'll say the blessing, and then just repeat after me, okay? And when you do so, do it in your mind, knowing that God is a God who can and give all these blessings. Okay, ready? Just repeat after me. Sing Nian Mong En. Gong Si Fa Cai. Nian Nian Yu Yu. Cai Yuan Gun Gun. Sheng Ti Jian Kang. Chu Ru Ping An. Xie Ye Jing Bu. 升官发财，生意兴隆，心想事成，万事如意。And to all the ladies, 漂漂亮亮。Okay, you can sit down, please. Thank you. 青春美丽。And how are God's blessings better? Why am I asking this question? It's quite obvious, isn't it? Yes. Of course God's blessing is better. But if God's blessings are better, why is it that many of us are still in survival mode? Where is God's blessings in our lives? James 4 tells us why we do not have the blessings. Do you know why? He said, you don't have because you don't ask. Why are we not asking God? Because we tend to depend on ourselves and everything else other than God. Often after we have done everything and then realize that we have no other solution, Bopian. And we desperately humble ourselves before God to cry out for His help. Many of us wrongly think that God will bless us automatically just because we are Christians. We need to ask. God invite us to ask. And some of you will say, I asked already, but still don't have. Are you still asking? Or have you stopped asking? It is important that we don't turn to other spiritual means to get blessings. God commands us in the Ten Commandments not to have the BMW. How many of you got BMW? <laughs> don't raise your hands. It is not the car. It is don't bow, don't make, don't worship idols. It's okay to own a BMW car as long as it is not your idol. We must not have images or idols. 
We learned from the sermon two weeks ago about what God hates, and Pastor gave us the seven things God hates A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not following pagan worship practices, no godless occultism. These are abomination to God, right? And there are two things that we need to watch out during this Chinese New Year. Number one, Chai Shen Ye, the fortune god. You know, you see this everywhere, in the homes, in the supermarket, in the shopping center, and so many people like the Chai Shen Ye. And the Chai Shen Ye is like Santa Claus. You know why? Santa Claus got caroling. Santa Claus is coming to town. Chai Shen Ye also got caroling, you know? Chai Shen Tao, dong 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 dong, right? And they also got mascots of the Chai Shen Ye. Everywhere the children, the adults will go, go and touch the Chai Shen Ye, hoping to rub some of the blessing from him, go and take photos. And some people keep small little Chai Shen Ye statues, picture frames at home. Some people have them on the wallpaper, on their, on their phone. That's a, wall, a wallpaper on their laptops. And some people also have cute little soft toys at home or even in their cars. Don't keep them. No matter how cute they are, they are an abomination to the Lord. And number two, long. This year is the, they say, this is the year of the Lord. Uh, not Lord, uh, year of the long. Uh, year of the dragon. Many clothes have images of dragons. You know, dragons are found in the Chinese New Year gifts and goodies as well. Someone gave me a packet of bakwa as Chinese New Year gift. Very nice packet. And on the handle itself, a gold handle there, it, there there's tight on there a little jade dragon pendant. Very nice. But I had to cut it out and throw it away. Don't let my, the person who gave me see respect, right? So many, this year, you realize that many of your ang pao will also have dragon. Maybe even your own ang pao that you give to your people, to, to others, also got dragon. I'm sure many of you also have received in the Chinese year in your WhatsApp, dragon, so many dragon um, wishes. Some of you also just forward to your friends. Our PM, he also encouraged Singapore what? To have little dragon babies. And there's a very significant thing that the Chinese say. Later I'll say in a short while. What is the dragon in the Bible? In Revelation 22, it says that the dragon is the devil, Satan. But some people will ask, is the Chinese dragon really related to the dragon in the Bible? So, then we ask the question, what is the dragon of the Chinese? Do people treat the dragon like a real creature or a made up one like a Mickey Mouse? Dragons are not treated like Mickey Mouse. People treat dragon with respect. There are temples that worship the dragon. They believe that the spirit of dragon can bring blessing. My daughter Isabel just complained to me, wow, in the school, after the whole Chinese assembly and the teacher there said, the spirit of dragon be with you. <laughs> Cancel the curse. <laughs> and you know, in Chinese, we have this word. It says, to be the messenger of the dragon, to be the children of the dragon, yes or no? Yes? No, we have to be messenger of Jesus and children of God. Amen. The Chinese dragon may not be related okay, to the dragon in the Bible, but they are definitely treated as spirits and people worship them. So should Christians have anything to do with the dragon? I don't think so. But there are some dragons that are okay. You know? Konglong and Pianse Long. Dinosaur 
and a chameleon. Those are okay. And someone asked, what if people give the ang pao with dragon? Uh, should we accept or not accept? And our brother Jonathan Wee gave a very wise answer. Accept the ang pao first. Then after you leave the person, take out the money and throw away the ang pao paper. Money is not the problem. The problem is ang pao packet. So don't, but don't do it in front of the person who gave you the ang pao, right? Because that will be rude. People give ang pao because out of the heart, right? Out of kindness. And they may not be Christian to understand that the dragon represents the devil. So make sure we remove any images of Tyson Ye and dragon, stay away from them, and we must really remove all of them. Some of them may look cute, may look beautiful, look interesting. First Thessalonians 5.22 says, abstain from all appearance of evil. All appearance of evil. And um, this is the picture of my mother in the Lian He Zao Bao. During our, Chinese, uh, our anniversary, Pastor Eugene, she shared about my mom, how she served the Lord in the elderly, and she teach them to make clothing, back and so on. And in this article, she was interviewed about her practice during Chinese New Year. My mother learns Chinese calligraphy, and she writes Chun Lian. And she took, it's very difficult to write this. It, it takes at least eight hours to complete the 10 words. You see the Chun Lian on the left and the right. Every word has to be in the right shape, thickness. The 10 words need to have the right size and style. Just one mistake, you have to rewrite the entire thing. She took eight hours to do. And after she finished doing it, she happily showed me what she did. And the first thing I noticed was behind the word has a golden image of the dragon. And it was quite in a dilemma to tell her or not to tell her because she took a lot of effort, you know, to, to do it. And I come back to put the cold water on her. Then she need to throw away her hard work and redo the entire thing all over, another eight to 10 hours. But I decided to tell her again about the dragon and she acknowledged that it represents the devil. But I didn't tell her to throw away because uh, I just kept quiet about it. I went home and got online to Lazada and go and look for the red paper to buy for her so that she can, hoping that she'll rewrite it. Then my sister, she went to, she also went to tell my mom about it. Then suddenly my mom, it clicked on my mom and she feel really unpeaceful about it and realized that she should not have done that, should not have used that. Then on her own, she repented, she threw away all those papers, she got new red papers and rewrite all of them, spending another eight to 10 hours to redo it. And I felt really proud of my mom. I'm sure the Lord is pleased that my mom chose to do it on her own rather than I tell her that she must change. So never seek fortune gods, dragons, and other gods and occult blessings. Make sure not to keep them. Instead, seek God for blessings. I want to add as well that we do not need to be afraid of the fortune god. We do not need to be afraid of the dragon because if God is for us, who can be against us? So we do not need to be afraid, okay? But we do need to remove, okay, where we can. So now I'm going to give you the three reasons why God's blessings are better. Number one, God's blessings, firstly, God's blessings are better because God's blessings have no strings attached. Proverbs 10, 22 says, the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. Unfortunately, people seek blessings from alternative spiritual so, uh, means like fortune telling, occult, medium, and even the devil. Instead of blessings, they reap curse upon themselves and their loved ones. And pastor shared about the man who asked the devil for money, he received and later the devil returned to take the life of his child, saying it is payback time. With God, there is no payback time. His blessings have no strings attached. And second, God's blessings are better because not only that he gives wealth, he gives the ability to make wealth and be productive. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, But remember the Lord your God, who, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. 
And many times we keep looking at the product, this is what I want, but we forget that there is a process of what we need. You are we are probably familiar with the phrase, give a man a fish and you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you'll feed him for a lifetime. Having the ability to produce wealth is better than just having wealth that lasts for a short moment. When we are rich and successful, remember and not forget, it is God who gives us the ability to make wealth. All our gifts, skills, talents are given by God. Amen? Amen. And thirdly, God's blessing is so abundant that He blesses everything and everyone in the house. And there are two important stories recorded for us in the Bible. First is Joseph. And we remember that he was a slave who worked under the Potiphar. He was an Egyptian officer under Pharaoh. And he, he recorded that Potiphar prospered and had success in everything he did because the Lord was with him. Sorry, not Potiphar, that, not that the Lord was with Potiphar, but the Lord was with Joseph. But it was because of Joseph, Potiphar was blessed in his how, whole household. The Lord used a slave, someone who has suffered injustice, to bless him and everything that his master Potiphar had. Genesis 39, 5, 6, the blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. And second is Obed-Edom. Obed-Edom received the Ark of the Covenant, which, is, which is, represents the presence of the Lord. Inside is the, is the Ten Commandment. Um, and he received the Ark of the Covenant into his home. Because why? Because King David suffered a recent incident when they were ushering the Ark of the Covenant back. Uzzah, okay, one of the men, touched the Ark of the Covenant and died. And because Uzzah touched the Ark and died, King David got scared. He did not want to bring the Ark of the Covenant. And he left the Ark with Obed Edom. And Obed Edom was willing. He didn't say, wow, this one very dangerous, uh, stay far away from me. He was willing. He took it. He saw that it's the presence of the Lord. He worshipped. While the Ark remained in Obed Edom's house for, for three months, First Chron uh, Chronicles 13, 14 says, the Lord blessed his household and everything he had. There is much to learn from these stories, but I just want to highlight the great blessings that God has. That He blessed everything and everyone in the house. And one thing in common is both Joseph and Obed Edom, they honored God. Joseph chose not to commit adultery by, by refusing to sleep with Potiphar's wife, despite her many advances. Joseph said, How can I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? When he works, he had in mind of God. And Obed Edom was a Levite. His job was to take care of the tabernacle and to praise and to worship God. So when we honor God by obeying his commands, serving and worshiping Jesus in his house every Sunday, God will bless our own house, everyone, and everything that is in it. So in summary, why is God's blessings better? Because God's blessings have no strings attached. God gives the ability to enjoy blessings. And God's blessings are abundant for everything and everyone in the house. Somehow my slide gone missing. It's okay. But the three points are there. No strings attached. The ability to enjoy well, uh, blessings and also that His blessings are abundant. You can say three A's. And next, how are we to receive God's blessings? Let's go on to the third point. And when, when we do not have the blessings, the opposite is true. We are under curse. Half of Deuteronomy lists the blessings and another half lists the curse. Whether we are under blessings or curse is not mis mysterious. But God sets the blessings and the curses before us and invites us to make a choice. Blessings or curses, life or death. God calls us to choose life and blessings in Deuteronomy 30, 19. Once we are certain about that, Deuteronomy 30, 20 calls us to do three things. 
We'll just read this verse. This day I call the heavens and earth as witnesses against you that are set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and may, number one, love the Lord your God. Number two, listen to his voice. Number three, hold fast to him. So number one, love the Lord your God. The blessings and curses is based on our relationship with God. Each one of us need to decide if we will declare with our mouth, Jesus is the Lord my God. I'm sure many of us do over here. But this is just the first part. Because the second part is to love Jesus. Loving Jesus involves our attitude, whether we are willing or unwilling, half-hearted or whole-hearted. Jesus will not be the Lord of our lives if we are merely agreeing with our mouths, but we are disagreeing in our hearts. We have to make a clear choice in our hearts and with our mouth if we would truly love Jesus to be the Lord of my God. Why should we love Him? Did Jesus love us with all His heart, with all His soul? Of course. He loved us first gave himself fully to us to save us when we do not deserve it. And so, should we also love him with all our hearts and all our soul? Definitely. And next, second, listen to his voice. Loving the Lord involves listening to his voice. There was a story about an office where there was a really tense moment, okay, in a meeting. And then the boss was raising his voice in frustration. And then the, one of the employees tried to calm him down, to assure him, and said, Boss, we hear you. Okay? And then the boss said, Yes, you hear me, but you are not listening to me. It's not good enough just to hear, but we need to listen. Does it not sound like Jesus when he said to the people, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? Blessings and curses are the result of whether we listen to his voice or not. Adam and Eve chose to listen to the serpent. Eve chose to listen to herself and not listening to God. And Adam chose to listen to Eve and not listening to God. And so what happened? The curse ensued. They ate the forbidden fruit. So brothers and sisters, we need to each evaluate this ourselves. Whose voice Am I listening to every Sunday during sermon? Am I listening to my WhatsApps? Am I listening to my YouTubes? Am I listening to my TikToks, my Facebook, my Instagrams, my X, my X, or my Lazada and my Shopee? Or maybe I have been listening to my neighbor who keep talking to me. Or am I listening to God, to the one who is preaching every Sunday? We must listen to God's voice. And lastly, hold fast to Him. Hold, holding fast means to hold tightly to Jesus and His words. Not throw His words away by disobedience. The result is us obeying God fully, carefully, and receiving all the blessings that God has prepared for us whom He loved. So, how do we receive God's blessings? To love Him, love the Lord your God, to listen to His voice, and hold fast to Him. You know, brothers and sisters, I don't claim to be a saint here. Okay, there are times when I don't love the Lord with all my heart, all my soul. There are times when I do not listen to God attentively to obey. There are also times when I do not hold fast to God. I let go, I disobey God. Disobedience to God's words opens doors to curses. But you know what? God is so gracious. Because to those who are cursed, to those who are set for destruction, you may see that maybe you are set for curse. Maybe you are set for, for destruction. But you know what he's saying? In Deuteronomy 30, 9 to 10, it says, the Lord will again delight in you and make you prosperous. If you obey the Lord your God and keep His commands and turn to the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul. 
the Lord will again delight. The, the Lord will again prosper. The Lord will again do this if we turn to Him. I'd like, us, I'd like to invite us to bow our heads. Lord, we acknowledge that your Lord God who is the blesser of all things. You are the blesser, Lord. This Chinese New Year, as you go around blessing, we remember that you are the ultimate blesser. We are agents. We are your messenger. We are not the messenger for the dragon, the devil. We are your messenger of blessings. The gospel is the blessing to others, for us as well. I just want to give us a minute to reflect. How many of us have not loved the Lord with all our hearts? How many of us have not fully listened? We go and listen to other things. We hear, but we don't obey. And, uh, and we obey for a short time. Instead of holding fast, we let go. We continue in sin. I just want to give us a minute, just between you and the Lord. Are you willing to turn? with you to be with you to enter into your blessing this is your desire for us Lord we ask for forgiveness I ask for forgiveness for compromising in every way any way I did not think about you I think about myself I think about what I want I put you aside I ignore your voice Lord, I pray for forgiveness. We plead the blood of Jesus to cover upon us, cleanse us from our sins, cleanse us from our wicked hearts, give us a new spirit, a new heart that will love you with all our heart, all our mind, and all our strength. Thank you, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just like to release a word of blessing. Number 6, 24, 26. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. You may go to your groups. Blessed Chinese here.